Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> shalom, shalom, Chavarim, shalom, shalom. Just took a pause from this um, presentation that um, Brother Reggie, a.k.a. Dr. Reggie, you know, is presenting here inside of the studios. Study on Coptic Christianity, Christianity not stolen from Africa. I find it to be very, very interesting and so interesting. Actually, it was um, Isha Shelley, Eshet, Esheti. It was I and I all said, I and I woman, wife. She often listens to different, you know, presenters, um, different content creators. And sometimes I overhear from the King's Chamber to the Queen's Chamber, her office, you know, or in one of the like kind of areas of I and I gates. She'll play certain things and I might overhear from my office. I'll hear some things and I'll come out and I'll listen. And this is one that I was happy that I heard. I was happy that she put on. And I was happy to get a listen here. Um, Dr. Reggie, Brother Reggie, he's um, putting up, um, putting forward a presentation. Basically, it's a study on Coptic Christianity. Some of y'all know that we had just uh, dropped a little video concerning something that um, um, Jabari, you know, had said, you know what I'm saying? Even though some things he did touch on and we do give thanks that there's more of a discussion concerning inner Africa, what can be called inner Africa or the Tob Tobia, you know, how we still defend the archaic, you know, what the so-called Greeks heard, you know, and what they then, how, how does, um, Brother Reggie put it, um, what they appropriated in a sense, or what they um, kind of adopted or adapted. Same thing happens with music. I just pause listening to the presentation. I think he has a, one of the guests or one of, you know, one of the brothers or one of the ones who sometimes give comments. Anyway, not to be long on this, and it's not as um, Dasharab said in one of the comments, made a couple of comments as well. You know, and also showed a little bit of love, like appreciation, you know, appreciate love, you know, for the content here. And someone has said he read a comment. Someone said it was boring. It's like, this is boring. No, this is actually the real essence. And that just proves something. Sometimes we like a little bit too much. Um, how can we say we like a little bit too much uh, subjective emotionalism instead of objective, you know, perspective, keeping more of an objective perspective. And um, yeah, it might be considered to be boring by some. And that was shocking that actually somebody, somebody has said that, you know, obviously somebody that might check out the platform more often than even we do, that said that it was boring. But this is just the half of the story, as we would say, the other half of the story, or more than half of the story that has not been told. So we're very happy that the, you know, the consciousness um, community, you know, as it is called, is beginning, you know, to endeavor a little bit more on scholarship, you know, looking at other related parts of what we call today Africa, you know, um, especially where Ethiopia or more of inner Africa, you know, beyond just the the Samatawi, Samaitawi, you know, the two lands. Now, is it two lands because of upper and lower? Or is it Tawi, two lands because of the eastern bank and the western bank? It's kind of interesting. It's kind of like two lands. Like that presentation also made about Kemet. We were speaking about that because just from some of our little research, we got to find that, well, the term Kemet only becomes more identifiable with the land that's called, quote, strong quotes, ancient Egypt. But anyway, hope that this this was live. So I'm not too sure if it's going to be reposted. Hopefully it will be reposted. Don't know how long it's going to go on for. Going to kind of like check back in right there. But um, just was sharing a little bit right here. Somebody said that, oh, wow, we like being a fan or something. You know, like we, I think it was Dasha Rob on a, you know, LOL. Yeah, LOL. So we had to say like, like we don't deal with fandom, but a brotherly honor because there's other areas, whether on our podcast or, you know, among some of the brethren, you know, the Chabarim, where we might say, well, how we disagree with another point that he might have made or something else that he might have said, you know, and try to give certain reference or resource kind of um, points of 
evidence for why we disagree. You know what I'm saying? Not just being disagree just because it's a, you know, another black man that says something, you know, and it sounds wise and it's beyond what we know. And therefore, we're going to just kind of hate. We got to get out of that, you know, so to see that some of the, you know, main ones and ones in the conscious community are beginning to, you know, address other aspects of what we can call generally, you know, consciousness or black conscious, so to speak. You know, so, yeah, we said replacement theology. Give thanks for kind of putting this up on the screen right there, you know, and also hit up the cash app, you know, just gave a little something, something right there. You know, and this does not mean that we are, you know, going to, um, you know, um, not disagree if there's some area that we disagree, you know, just we disagree, not being disagreeable, you know, or dealing with that so-called bull, but just disagreeing, you know, factually based on some evidence or based on our perspective to the, the facts or the evidence, you know. So, yeah, so keep up the good work, Dr. Reggie. They'll catch up, hopefully. Hopefully they will catch up. We've seen that occur. Even ourselves, others have said things, and then when we get into more studies, we recognize chant. They were right. And then we like to also just come forward to our, you know, fellows and let them know that, yeah, you know, on this point right here, this one was correct. Or on this particular area of research or study, we agree, you know, with this one or with that one. So here is what it's about right here. You know, um, Dr. Reggie presents some very, very interesting information you know, concerning um, Coptic Christianity as well as a perspective that it was not stolen, you know. Um, and we also have addressed that whole plagiarized sort of a thing. It's kind of interesting because the ones that really have plagiarized, everyone has developed some so-called legalistic phrase nowadays, and it's like anachronistic. I don't know if ones understand the anachronistic, like out of, it's not in the proper time. You know, and that was another point that he made from the opening of his um, study on Coptic Christianity was about when things begin, when they end, and what particular time periods it took place and what was going on so we can get a kind of a fuller view, you know, and not just be kind of stringing together. It's like what some Christians or not just Christians, but, you know, Bible people might do. You know, even some of us, you know, some of ones who might call themselves Rasta or long hair, you know, guys that might refer to themselves as Rasta. They have a couple of verses in the Bible. You know, they look up all the Ethiopia verses. So they talk about, OK, Ethiopia in Genesis, talk about Ethiopia in, um, you know, in, in Psalms or, you know, or Ethiopia in the prophet Amos or Ethiopia over here in Zephaniah, you know, or is it? Yeah. In Zephaniah. But then what about all the places in between? What about the scriptures in between? You know what I mean? When we start to now look at the in-between scriptures. And what about doing the linguistic linguistic study? That was the big point that Dr. Reggie was making concerning um, the, the linguistic study of ancient Egypt. This is something that I think he went to school for and he's got to master to a significant level. You know, also a hail up to um, Zion Lex as well because the linguistics is very very important although we might read and study the translations available to us and one thing he surprised i when he went to the ethiopian book of the dead <laughs> or the lefafa tzedek lefafa tzedek also called the bandlet of righteousness that was a good you know that was a good presentation okay that was on another something that we wanted to touch on so just once again keep up the good work um, Dr. Reggie, you know, so that hopefully, you know, this will be um, an encouragement. So when we do, should we disagree with another subject matter, one wouldn't say, oh, woo, 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 you're being a hater, you know, if we don't show where we do agree, you know, and say right on right there, you know, we agree with that. That was something that I think, um, who was it? It was uh, Garfield had said, you know, like, you know, how I guess certain ones that he might rock with when on an issue subject matter, he doesn't rock with them. A lot of times ones will kind of um, kind of 
you know, get into like, oh, you being a hater. You know, why isn't it that where if I'm wrong on something, my own brother can't say I'm wrong. And then I can ask him, well, how am I wrong? And hopefully he can explain to me how he thinks I'm wrong. And if I recognize what he's saying is true, I can acknowledge that. Isn't that brotherly love? You know, not even to get into scripture, none of that right now, because that's not what this is about per se right now. It's getting into like the scholarly perspective and then more of an objective perspective. There was a saying from ancient Egypt, just to seal up right here. It's a saying from ancient Egypt that says something about, um, I think it was Muata Ashby. He's also a scholar that hopefully ones and ones, I don't know what ones like Dr. Reggie and some of the other, um, you, for lack of a better word, um, ancient Egyptian or some might say comedic scholars or ancient, you know, scholars can, you know, bring him forward, hopefully, because he has done a lot of work on research, getting into linguistic and also seeing how the practical applications of ancient Kemen or ancient Egypt, Dr. Muata Ashby and also his um his 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 wife, his Osset, his Isha as well. But something in one of his books it says that, um, I'm paraphrasing here, feelings and emotions make for good servants, right? Feelings and emotions make for good servants, but poor masters. And I think that's what's happening a lot of times is that we get caught up on our feelings and emotions, which are supposed to be our servants. You know, feelings and emotions are like our servants, but a lot of ones are being mastered by their feelings and emotions. And I take that from, um, I think, Dr. Muata Ashby. You know, he's done a whole series. I think they have like um, comedic yoga and other um, practical applications of the ancient knowledge and wisdom that comes from the Sema Smai Tawi of the two lands, Hebraically Mitzrayim, the two lands or ancient and quote ancient Egypt, you know, because strong quotes on that, because we still have to use these, these um, replacement terminologies by saying ancient Egypt is a replacement terminology that for lack of a better knowledge, you know, publicly, you know, soon that will change as more and ones as, as a scholarship comes forward and also support the scholarship that does come forward. Anyway, Give thanks for this. Got to get ready for the podcast and everything like that. Like to check out a little bit more. Um, but um, it was good to hear and hopefully others can get to hear it since we caught it on the live. But a study on Coptic, the whole Coptic um, connection and getting into some of the linguistics as well. So we can even go over some of the translations that have been provided. Because many of these documents, like the Lefafa Tzedek, the Bandle of Righteousness, a.k.a. called, it's called the Ethiopian Book of the Dead. Somebody asked which one, which one like came first or was old. We said the Purim Heru, of course, you know, but it's not even a Book of the Dead in that sense from the Ethiopian perspective. So to Dr. Brother Reggie's point, you know, not only did they attempt a replacement, you know, to replacement or to adapt or to jack or to upgrade or to it made a very good point right there. And I think this is getting more into the, the details. Some say the devil's in the details. We say the divinity, the deliverance, you know, is in the details. So anyway, give thanks once again. Um, Christianity not stolen from from Africa. What do you think? Shalom, Habarim, Shalom, and and uh, Hotep, Hotepu, yeah.